This video introduces the way TechScan's foot software presents plantar pressure data. A movie is made up of a sequence of individual frames capturing a picture of the pressure distribution at an instant in time. This is similar to a motion picture movie. A TechScan movie can be played continuously forward or backward or frame by frame. In normal mode, each click on the Next Frame button advances the movie one frame at a time. The status bar at the bottom of the movie window displays the frame count. You have the choice of displaying the frame count or time. To change between frame count and time, click Options, User Preferences, Status Bar, then choose either Frame Count, Relative Time in Seconds, or Absolute Time. With frame count enabled, both the frame and stance numbers are displayed. Peak stance mode automatically groups the frames that make up a single foot contact into stances. This option allows you to view, in a single image, the highest pressure experienced by each part of the foot during a foot strike. When peak stance is selected, the playback control treats each stance as a frame, so the next frame command moves the recording to the next stance. In peak stance, the first number in the status bar represents the step that is currently being viewed. The second number is the total number of steps for the recording of that foot. The numbers in parentheses represent the range of frames that make up the current foot strike. To return to single frame mode, click the peak stance icon again. You can visually examine plantar pressures in 2D, 2D contour, or 3D contours format. The legend represents pressures on the plantar foot. The 13 colors represent a gradated scale from low pressures in blue to high pressures in red. Pressure can be displayed in raw digital output or calibrated units such as pounds per square inch, kilograms per centimeter squared, or other measurement units. The 2D view displays the image in two-dimensional form with the color of each sense cell location representing the pressure measured at that point. This display is the actual RAR output of the sensor, and individual sense cells are represented by the small squares. The 2D contours view displays the pressures as a two-dimensional contoured image. The sharp corners of the individual sense cells output are smoothed making the pressure areas look more natural and the boundaries easier to visualize. The 3D contours view displays the recording as a three-dimensional image in which higher pressures are shown as solid peaks. The 3D contours view is useful in comparing pressure areas that are above the maximum pressure value. In this view, pressures are displayed as height of peaks and relative pressure differences are readily apparent. You can rotate pressure output in three-dimensional space by clicking and dragging with your mouse over the image. The center of force, or COF, is the balance point for all forces. Two icons are available for the center of force and both have a red and white diamond. The center of force is a single point in each frame of a movie. When viewing a movie frame by frame, the center of force moves with each frame. To highlight this movement, the center of force trajectory icon can be enabled. The center of force trajectory shows the movement or tail of the center of force through time. Center of force trajectory features hash marks or notches in the line. These notches represent each frame of the movie. This allows you to easily gauge the subject's center of force movement over time. Longer line length between hash marks indicate faster movement or higher velocity. Shorter line length between hash marks represents slower movement or less velocity. If you have any questions or comments, please visit our website at www.techscan.com or call us at 1-800-248-3669.